What's up guys, Crazy Wizard here, coming back for another reaction. Today we're watching John Carpenter's 1982 classic, The Thing. This is one of the movies that's been recommended to me a ton by different people uh, in comments and the videos and the Patreon poll. Everyone was pushing for this, so this is one that I'm looking forward to. I don't really know a thing about it, other than that it's a John Carpenter film. It's critically acclaimed, 80s classic horror, and um, it takes place in the snow. I think it's, I think it's Antarctica, like South Pole. Not sure about that though. Yeah, this is uh, another one of those movies that I've known about for a long time, never sat down and watched. I, I'm, I'm able to admit that I've always been somewhat intimidated by horror films as a, as a genre, um, so I'm glad I'm finally getting into that. And I know that that's something that I say before every single classic horror film reaction, but that's because these are classics, and they're part of pop culture, and they're in the ethos enough that, like, you're gonna have heard about them, you know? That's true for me, anyway. I've... I've I have a lot of tertiary knowledge of these things without ever having actually experienced them. So, the thing falls in that category as well. Uh, but without further ado, let's check it out. A Universal picture. Was this, this can't be before Universal had their big logo. It's interesting that it's so... I guess they, they retooled it in keeping with the rest of the credits. Never mind. Oh, what up? Kurt Russell's in this? Nice. Some ominous music already. It's a great way to set set up your audience expectations to black screen and ominous chords. Oh, and now it looks like outer space, could it be? Or just the night sky. Oh, that is a that is a flying ass saucer. Okay, I didn't realize this was an aliens kind of thing. Burning up on on entry. Oh, that's a cool effect. It's like it's burning the words in. I wonder how they did that. Okay, Antarctica. Confirmed. Winter of 1982. Oh, that's a helicopter. That's not a UFO. Loch Norge. What does it mean? Probably acronyms. Man, Antarctica's beautiful. The ground's actually only about 100 meters above sea level, but there's literally like 9,000 feet of ice. <laughs> it's so thick. Oh, cute dog. This must be the crash site. This must be where... Well, did it in fact come to Earth? It looked like it burned up in the outer atmosphere, but then... I guess debris would be so small you wouldn't be able to see it from orbit anymore. Hey, whoa! Can we not? Why are we out here shooting huskies? National Science Institute, Station 4. There's quite a lot of people here. There he is. Chess wizard. Nice. Whoa! <laughs> Nice. I feel like that was a that was a boiling over point. Like he's been frustrated with that machine for a long time. You wouldn't just do that on impulse. Like it's gonna take forever to get a replacement. You know. That was a low ass low ass pass over that sign. Got to wear goggles outside because it's so bright. What's he doing? Circling the camp. Who is he? Said Norge or something on the side. Yeah, that's what I read too. They don't know who this helicopter is. Okay, I assumed he was one of the researchers flying around. The fuck is this? Those smoke canisters or are they like grenades? Maybe he's trying to create like a landing zone or something? That's a great shot. What are you doing, man? Oh! 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 Why are they so desperately trying to kill the dog? I mean, none of, none of them came out there with weapons, so they're just sort of like letting him go past. I get it, but what the fuck is happening? 
Oh! That was a hell of a shot. George, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. That was a lot just now. Like, that was intense. It can't just be about, like, they were hunting a random animal that they saw. Like, they got in a helicopter and chased that thing all the way here. And clearly they weren't soldiers either, because they missed, like, a lot of shots. Didn't throw the flares in the right place. And they were, like, hella panicked. They weren't composed. So whoever they were, they were, like, acting out of desperation, it feels like. God. Well, I guess we've adopted a dog. <laughs> it's not even injured. Oh, nope, look. It's got some, it's got some blood on his leg. First goddamn week of winter. What were they doing flying that low? Shooting at a dog. At us. It doesn't it doesn't make sense. Cabin fever, who knows? No, there's more to it. US number thirty one calling McMurdo. Urgent. Come in. Over. I'm trying to report it. Get a hold of anybody. We gotta report this mess. Look, I haven't been able to reach shit in two weeks. I doubt if anybody's talked to anybody on this entire continent. Wow, okay. So they're super isolated and there's been some sort of communication breakdown already. Like before the movie even started. It could just be because they're so remote, or there could be some sort of malfunction somewhere. Yeesh. I was wondering when El Capitan was going to get a chance to use his pop gun. Seems like the captain didn't enjoy doing it. Five minutes is enough to put a man over down here. I mean, look at Pong. He's been the way he is since the first day. <laughs> Guys as crazy as that could have done a lot of damage to their own before they got to us. I want to go up. So they're aware of where the the other base must be located then, where this helicopter presumably came from, if they're going to go check it out. Forget it, Palmer. Hey, thanks for thinking about it, though. <laughs> McCready! Matt, get your gear on! He's like, are you serious? <laughs> In this? Mac, it may not clear up for a week. Yeah. And we're the closest ones to him. It's all right by me, Doc. I'm just letting you know we're, we're taking a chance. You really want to save those crazy Swedes, huh? No, we didn't. So Max a pilot, we got the captain, and then this dude's a doctor. The hood hat and shades is a great, uh, it's a great look. <laughs> I wonder how long Mac has been in Antarctica. It seems like he's really, I don't know if acclimatized is the word, but like he's he's been here long enough to have fallen into a pattern, and he seems very matter of fact about all of this. Nalls, will you turn that crap down? I'm trying to get some sleep. I was shot today. Yeah, give the poor man a rest. <laughs> so the research base is a fairly large complex, it looks like. There's like a lot of rooms. I mean, it's supposed to be like fully self-sustaining. Yeah, what is up with this dog? It was a very stealthy way he went through the door. I noticed that. I'm surprised that they're not more, like, paying more attention to this dog. Because that's the, that's the piece of the puzzle that they still have, you know? The dudes flying the helicopter are dead. The helicopter's destroyed. But the dog they still have. They could examine the dog, at least. Try and figure out what's so special about it. Why it was being chased. Bro, oh, that's... That's not what you want to see on the horizon. I'm doubtful there's anyone left to save. Whatever happened. Those guys in the helicopter seem real desperate. Maybe the UFO did come down and these guys found it. Maybe this, they're subverting us because we, we assume that it's going to be our our central, like, our perspective characters that make this discovery. But what if they're what if they're late to the party and these Norwegians actually found whatever it was that crashed down? So they set fire to everything. Hey, Sweden! Not Swedish, Mac the Norwegian. <laughs> He's going to keep calling them Swedes the whole movie, isn't he? What would do damage like that? It's like a massive hole has been busted out of the wall. I guess a fire could do that, like if a backdraft goes through, but... Whoa. Bloody axe in the wall? What the hell happened here? It's like they killed each other, you know? Oh, yikes. Where's that gonna lead? The way his arms were hanging down in the chair, did he slit his wrists, maybe? Oh, that's cool, the way the blood froze in his hand. Oh, shit! Did his neck as well? <laughs> that's intense. What the hell happened here? Maybe there was, like, an alien virus on the 
on the ship that like makes everyone go psychotic, you know? Because the dudes coming out of the helicopter were pretty unhinged as well. Although he at least tried to like talk to them before he started shooting. Hey, Copper, come here! Oh, what's he found? Okay. A huge block of ice that it must have contained something that's since been thawed out of it. Yeah, this is totally the crashed artifact. It's gotta be. It kind of looks like one of those plastic blister packs after you take the action figure out of it. Maybe they found a fossil. The remains of some animal buried in the ice and they chopped it up. But where is it? Could it be the dog? Could the dog be what they found in the ice, like frozen? That doesn't make sense. Oh, shit. Uncle Owen? Is that a man in there? It was, two, it was two. It was two skeletons. Help me find a shovel, Doc. See, Mac has plenty of humanity in him. He was like, it's getting late. We gotta move. But he's got time to find a shovel and bury these people because it's the decent thing to do. Some great wide shots in this movie. I mean, in, in Antarctica, assuming you film on location, anywhere you point a camera is going to be like an epic, epic shot. We're focusing on the dog so much, something clearly is going to happen there. <laughs> we found this. Oh! Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is right! <laughs> it's so, like, wet still. It's like steaming. God, it's an amazing prop, though. Like, it, that can't be a human, there's too many limbs. I'd like you to start an autopsy right away. How do you perform an autopsy on something which is has a physiology you've never seen before? You don't even know what organs you're going to find in there. Like, that's... A, it's, it's horrifying and hideous, but like... Man, it's like almost human. Jesus, it's got like two faces smushed together. Maybe it started as a human and then something was something happened to someone? Ugh. 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 <laughs> then it's gonna get a hell of a lot worse before it gets any better. Well, stick to it, window. Stick to it. Windows, because of his glasses. <laughs> Nothing wrong with this Norwegian, physiologically anyway. Yeah. What about the other Norwegian? He seems pretty, pretty messed up over there. Oh God. Come on, man. Well, what we got here is normal set of internal organs. Interesting. Okay, so it was a human at one point, and then, like, mutated, or... Oh, God. God, the way the eye is open, staring. <laughs> this is some great body horror, already. I know how this one ends. That's true, all they have is, like, pre-taped TV to watch. There's no signals out there. Nice. That's a fatty right there. <laughs> Clark, will you put this mutt with the others where he belongs? I mean, it's kind of cute having him just roam around the research station, but, like, I'm starting to suspect that not all is well here. He's a very well-behaved dog, though. Look how he's just, like, walking alongside this guy. Go ahead. What are you waiting for? I have to say, this dog actor is doing an incredible job. Very impressed with his performance. You're a good boy. He's just staring at the wall. Something's not right with that dog, man. Like he doesn't. Ooh, nice. That one. That dog has got heterochromia. Yeah, they don't like him. Ah! Oh, what the fuck? That's not a dog. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, oh, what is happening? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Same thing's happening with the dog that happened to that that person. Oh, fuck no. Oh, fuck no. It's a spider thing? I didn't sign up for this shit. Oh, God! What is that? Acid? Oh, these poor dogs. Maybe he came back down because he heard the barking. Oh. Whew. Thank God. At least one dog survived. I can't believe he was able to contain it and not get eaten. Maybe he can alert everybody and we can just act on this fast. I think I'm starting to understand why the Norwegians burned that just burnt their place down, honestly. What is it? What's the kind of what's going on? What's the kind of hey, 
<laughs> Go put your pants on, dude. It's an emergency. Mac wants the flamethrower. Mac wants the what? That's what he said. Now move. Mac's awesome. He was immediately like, get me the flamethrower. Like he's been in a horror movie before. Oh my god. Oh, and it's still got like kinda dog like features. That's horrifying. Oh god. Oh. Ugh. Oh, and that's the poor dog that got sprayed with the. Jesus Christ. Oh. That's heartbreaking. I don't, I don't blame him one bit. He's trying to save his dogs. At this point, like, they're gone, though, man. They're gone. You guys just shoot everything in that cage. Every time I look at it, it just gets worse. What the fuck? It's escaping. No. God. Now we don't know where it is. Well, this is a nightmare. Don't like this. Oh God! That was some fantastic practical effects in puppetry, though. Like some of it, I'm sure, was stop motion too for 1982. Like definitely, absolutely revolting. <laughs> God damn! I would be. Oh God! I would be quadruple checking that that thing is dead before I put my hands on it, though. Like, as the doctor. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Appropriate reactions. And, like, it looks awful. It's sad. Like, the squelching sounds are terrible. But, like, you can't even experience what he's experiencing. You're like, what does it smell like? You know, how awful is it in that room right now? Organism that imitates other life forms. Absorb them. And in the process, shape its own cells. Oh my god, did he just touch the body and then touch his mouth with the... Come on, dude! <laughs> we got to it before it had time to finish. Finish what? Imitating these dogs. It was absorbing them so it could become a perfect replica of a dog. Because that's how it... Okay, I think I understand. But... Oh god, it can, it can create a human too, though, because what about that nasty corpse? It was working on replicating the Norwegians as well. Did you notice anything strange about the dog? Anything at all? Strange? No. How long were you alone with that dog? What the hell are you looking at me like that for? I don't know. It's probably nothing. Nothing at all. What's he getting at? Is he thinking that maybe like it's already started to replicate people? And that's not really the dude that like the dog was with him alone and like switched with him? Here. This is it, the place where they're spending most of their time. Pretty nasty out, Mac. 35 knots. Screw it, I'm gonna go up anywhere. The wind speed is 35 knots? Fuck. <laughs> I would not survive. Beautiful. Everything's so white, it's like the ground and the clouds merge into one. It creates a very otherworldly kind of atmosphere. Oh, whoa, okay. It is the whole ship. Look at that. That is a fantastic matte painting. I love that. On the one hand, this is a great composite shot. On the one hand, like, I understand wanting to investigate further, but, like, after everything that we've seen so far, you can contextualize that this ship is dangerous and no good. If we are to presume that the life forms came from here, which obviously they did, right? How long you figure this has been in the ice? Who knows? I'd say the ice that's buried in is 100,000 years old, at least. Wow. And they unleashed something that should never have been here. Oh, and that's the site that they drilled. Or at least that's the block of ice they removed. Thousands of years ago it crashes and this thing gets thrown out. He said the thing. <laughs> Happens all the time, man. They're falling out of the skies like flies. <laughs> you buy any of this, Blair? Yeah, he does. I was going to say, he arrived at the whole alien life form conclusion pretty damn fast, but what other plausible explanation could there even be, you know? Got it. So, as soon as it assimilates something, it can successfully imitate it. 
I love it. I love his highly scientific little CGI rendering there. <laughs> Seventy-five percent chance. Fuck. This is where the breakdown of trust begins, because they're so isolated out here. They can't call for help. All they can do is rely on each other. So, like, oh, if they start suspecting each other of being the organism, there's no way. There's no way they can survive. They have to work together. Twenty-seven thousand hours. It'll infect the entire world. I don't think you have enough vodka for this situation. Why are you just drinking, holding someone's soiled, sh like, drawers? <laughs> it's going to become significant. Whoever left that in the trash can is, is the new organism, I think. It's already one of them. I guess my money would be on the bearded guy who's in charge Sorry, of the dogs. Because he was alone with the dog for the longest. We gotta just burn these things. God, it's so nasty. The find of the century. That's going to win somebody the Nobel Prize. God damn it. That's always the mindset. That gets people killed in these movies. It's like, it's a miracle of science. We must preserve it. It's like, no, you need to destroy it with fire. And then you can write an account of it after the fact. But, like... You have got the keys. That moved, right? That wasn't just the blanket settling. Oh, God. You see? You see what your pursuit of academic glory gets you? That thing's going right up that dude. So is Blair cracking up or what? In the decree, there is still cellular activity in these burned remains. They're not dead yet. Meaning it's still a threat. And Blair has barricaded himself because he doesn't trust any of you guys anymore. Hello, Bennings. I gotta get some sleep. Oh, God. Oh, God. No more Bennings. Oh! Oh, no! I'll get Gary. We'll meet in Blair's room. I like Mac a lot. He's he's pretty surly. He just wants to go get drunk, but he was willing to do what it, what needs to be done like immediately. He's like, "All right, fine. This is inconvenient information, but let's act on it immediately," which is good. Benny's was right there, Mac. I swear to God, it had a hold of him. There. He, oh God, there he goes. It's like stumbling a little bit, like trying to figure out how to be bipedal. Okay. Yeah, don't get too close. It isn't Benny. Oh god, that's not even a human anymore. <laughs> Brutal. Damn. My god, what was happening to him? That was one of those things out there. Trying to imitate him, Gary. But Critty, I know Bennings. I've known him for ten years. We gotta burn the rest of them. Make sure there's no more living cells. God. <laughs> Only way to be sure. Man, that's a haunting visual. Where's Blair? He's in his room still. They were about to go get him when all this went down. Hopefully Blair's safe because he barricaded himself because he knew that this threat of not being able to trust anyone around you was on its way. I can't find Blair. Windows is in the radio room still trying to get through. Everyone else is in the rec room. You go on. I'll be in in a minute. Shit. That means it's either Windows or Blair right now. If Windows is alone, trying to get a signal through, Blair could get to him and have time alone with him to try and absorb him. I feel like from now on, everyone should stay in the Blair? same room. Wait, what? Blair? What did Blair just do? Oh. He sabotaged the helicopter. Fuck. Now they're really isolated. There's no escape from this now. Oh, oh shit! He smashed up some of the chopper pretty good. Yeah, he did. Oh, I see. He sabotaged the chopper to stop spreading this thing. Honestly, his heart's in the right place, but god damn it, Blair. We don't all want to die here! <laughs> you got most of the chopper and the tractor. And he's killed the rest of the dogs. Damn. That poor dude. All he wanted was to protect his dogs. Okay, Blair. Come on, man. You don't want to hurt anybody. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, he's fully snapped. 
God, with the axe, he was ready. He was ready. Man, I feel so bad for this dude. What about your shack, McCready? I want him in my shack. We'll lock him in the tool shed. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, they locked him up in the tool shed, but at least they left him some booze. Well, now, the radio's gone. So are the choppers. Yeah, we're completely cut off. All we can do now is hold up till spring. I assume they have some sort of a scheduled, like, delivery drop. Someone must come here with supplies periodically. If I was an imitation... How would you know if it was really me? Come up with code word questions or something. We need Blair's help. He's the only one who knows what this organism is. He's too far gone, on. Fuse. I kept the rest of his notebooks. Start going through them. I mean, yes, Blair's going paranoid, but he also has valuable information. Fuchs isn't wrong. Gary! Hey, you guys, come here! Oh, no! Whichever one of them it is is actively sabotaging them because he has all the memories of the human somehow? Like why would they why would this creature suddenly have knowledge of their of their plans like this? Who else could have used that key? Nobody. I just give it to Copper whenever he needs it. That key ring of yours is always up to your best. Well, it's not everybody 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 The trust is completely gone. No one trusts anyone anymore. I give you my word, I did not go near that blood. Somebody else was in charge. Norris, I can't see anybody objecting to you. I'm sorry, fellas, but I, I, I'm not up to it. Honest answer. Okay, so Max in charge. That makes sense, actually. If you're ever in like a survivalist horror scenario, put Kurt Russell in charge. If he's there. So now we gotta burn the blood bag. Norris, you and Childs, shoot him up with morphine. Tie him down in the rec room and watch him. This is taking a real turn. And all of this, like, inward suspicion seems like it's really counterproductive, but also, like, I don't see any way around it, you know? In a scenario where it could be one of them, they kind of have to take these precautions. Thorne's been hitting us hard now for 48 hours. Okay, so this is two days after that last scene. Because he said the storm would be here in six hours. Nobody trusts anybody now. Which is a major problem. If a small particle of this thing is enough to take over an entire organism, then everyone should prepare their own meals. And I suggest we only eat out of cans. That's a smart, that's a smart idea. They've done a really good job of, like, heightening the anxiety and making you feel like you yourself are in this situation. Because now every time Mac encounters a new person, I'm like, I'm really mistrustful. I'm like, I don't trust this guy at all. But those were solid suggestions. Don't let anyone prepare food for you. Eat out of cans. Is this Windows? What are you doing? Who's that? The fuck was that? McCready? No way. So Windows found torn up clothes that said McCready on them. Is that, are we supposed to believe that McCready is potentially the one that's been switched? Because it can't be McCready, right? That doesn't make sense. Blair, have you seen Fuchs? I don't want to stay out here anymore. I want to come back oh, inside. Oh, damn. And tied a noose in there. Oh, he planted it there. I get it now. He was planting it. Maybe he burned himself before it could get to him. Where are we going? Up to my shack. What the hell for? Because when I left yesterday, I turned the lights off. Oh, that's creepy. Are those metal doors? Can you get nails through them like that? He's not doing good. God, Childs came back alone? Look. The mustache in his own oil furnace. Wind must have just lasted, but I don't think he saw me fight. No, he's being framed. The creature's really smart and is trying to throw suspicion. From... 
<laughs> Let's open it. Come on, man. It's not McCready. Messes with me and the whole camp goes. Nice. That's smart. Where's the rest? Oh! Come on, cool, man. Come on. This is tense as fuck. What's happening with him? Is he having a heart attack? Not breathing. One time to die. Now nobody gets out of my sight. That's smart. That's a smart plan. They need to be alone with someone in order to absorb them, so to imitate them. If he can keep everyone in his sight, hopefully he can keep track of who people are. And then the monster will slip up. Never occur to the jury that anybody could have got some of my clothes and stuck them up the furnace? We ain't buying that. Quit that bickering over there! I mean, that's exactly what happened. He was fully framed. Clear! Clear! Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! Holy shit! Ah! Well, we found the thing! What the fuck? Oh my god, that's an amazing effect, though. Jesus, no wonder he said he wasn't up for being the leader. Yeah, burn it! Burn the fuck out of that! God, the little, like, rapid-moving tendril things are so just, like, unnerving. <laughs> come on! What the fuck? That's an image that's gonna stay with me for a long time. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. No, I'm done. God, why? Why? Burn his ass. Burn him good. He ain't tying me up. Then I'll have to kill you, Charles. Then kill me. I don't think he's playing. I think he means it. I think they both mean it. They just killed Clark? Damn. We're gonna draw a little bit of everybody's blood. And do the test the doctor came up with. You see, when a man bleeds, it's just tissue. No blood from one of you things won't obey when it's attacked. I'm trying to survive. Interesting. So his theory is that the one that is a thing, the blood itself will resist and try and escape from the needle. That's a deep cut. It doesn't have to be that deep, man. This is a smart idea. This works. Now I'll show you what I already know. Crack of shit. And Clark was human, huh? Yeah, and you killed him. Which makes you a murderer, don't it? We'll do you last. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so it's Palmer. No, <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, come on, this is not the time for malfunction! What the fuck?! Oh! God, imagine being tied to a chair next to that thing. Oh, oh God, nope. Nope. Oh, picked him up by his face jaws. This is horrific! How's he still wriggling? How's he not dead yet? Jesus. Woo! God! Burn his ass! Quickly! That'll do it. That'll do it. We need to retest windows. God, that's disturbing. Nulls is good. All that crazy shit went down. They're like, all right, back to the test. <laughs> Come on, Childs. I think he's fine. I think he's probably fine. Come 
Come on, get me out of here. Cut me loose, damn it. <laughs> Look at them both with the flamethrowers. They're like, it's you, isn't it, you son of a bitch? How is that possible? Was it just Palmer? I know you gentlemen have been through a lot. I'd rather not spend the rest of this winter tied to this fucking couch! God, everyone is like at their wit, the, like the end of their rope right now. Can't say I blame them at all, though. We're going out to give Blair the test. If he tries to make it back here and we're not with him. Burn right, because if he comes back without them, it means that he killed him and gave him the slip. God, the storm's so bad right now. Mac, the door's open. Oh, shit. Brave man going down there. Blair's been busy out here all by himself. What is it? Is it like cobbled together from the spaceship? Is he trying to recreate it? Smart SOB, put it together piece by piece. Where was he trying to go? Any place but here. Blair must be the thing then, and he's trying to recreate like a components of his spaceship so he can get off this planet. But how or when did he get infected? Is that Childs? Who has the other flamethrower right now? Childs outside the main entrance of the camp. The power just go out? Oh my god. What can we do? Whether we make it or not, we can't let the thing freeze again. It's about saving the world now. It's exactly what the Norwegians ended up deciding to do, just burn down the whole base. We're not getting out of here alive. But neither is that thing. Nice. Yeah. Fuck your spaceship. There goes the tool shed. God, just drive it into the side of the wall. Love it. I guess who cares at this point, right? Using the fuel to ignite it. That's pretty smart. Now they're really wrecking this place. I feel like it's not going to work. I feel like they're going to burn down everything. And then the thing is going to be revealed to be one of them. That's presumably where Blair went to cut the power, so he might still be there. I love these suspenseful moments of no music and barely any sound. It really increases the tension. The elements of the unknown, like, is it still out there? Did Were they successful? Generator's gone. Any way we can fix it. It's gone, McCready. Could he have ripped it out for the ship that he was building? Plant here's an hill storage room. Now down by the generator. We're gonna blow this thing to kingdom come. What a grim mental space to have to be in, like knowing you're not going to make it out of this alive and that your only hope for making your death count for something is to make sure that this thing dies too. It's like, it's lose-lose. It's very grim. I like to think that I'd have the courage to make that kind of sacrifice in this situation, but you can, you can never really tell until you're in it, you know? I might just go to pieces, be the first one to die. No oh, fuck! Blair! No! That's horrifying. God damn. Ugh, makes my cheeks hurt just watching it. Damn, and he was responsible for one of the charges too, which means that charge is not going to get set now. Oh, God! Just, ugh! Uh, dragging him by the skin of his face. Ugh, no. No. Yeah, he's about to go too. And then it's going to be just Mac and Childs, because they're the toughest two on the whole station. I always knew they were going to be the last two surviving. How's it coming in there? How's it? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, what? Throw it! Throw it! Ah! God damn it! 
fuck. There goes the detonator. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Come on, man. What is... Oh, and there's the dog. Oh, it has little pieces of everything now. Nice. That was a classic Kurt Russell maneuver. Fuck you too. Nice. Yes! Holy shit, that was a big explosion. There's no way Matt got clear in time. That's so big. Did it kill it, though? The creature's so hard to kill. Like... Every single one of its cells needed to die in order for this to be effective. Oh my god, he made it out. How did he clear the blast radius? It wasn't just a matter of running away. He had to climb up first because he was underground. That's insanely impressive. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's Childs. Okay. Did you kill it? I hope so. Where were you, Childs? Thought I saw Blair. I went out after him. Got lost in the storm. That's fishy. I don't trust that. We did see him running out there, but it's convenient, you know? Fire's got the temperature up all over the camp. Won't last long, though. At least it'll be warm for a second. Well, what do we do? Why don't we just wait here for a little while? See what happens. And just freeze? Wait till somebody turns. It's like the danger might be over, but you just, you can't relax yet. The kill was not confirmed. Why did you, what? Oh man. What, a, what an up in the air ending. Did they kill the thing? Was it Childs the whole time? Oh man. This was fantastic. I really, really enjoyed this movie, actually. This one's going to sit with me for a while. This was some intense body horror, and I'm not sure that I was fully prepared for that. Like, I knew that was going to happen, but, like, I guess I didn't understand the scope. Like, just how, just how fucking nasty. Oh, man. That, yeah. Ugh. Oh, God. <laughs> like I said, that's going to stick with me for a while. I really, really like how, although the monster was, like, the danger... There's, there's this whole commentary going about how, like, an equally intense and palpable danger is the paranoia and the mistrust and what happens in, like, a group survival scenario when that trust breaks down. And, and it, it really just, like, sort of highlights the dangers of individualistic thinking in a situation where you need to work as a collective to survive. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliantly done. Um, my only regret is waiting so long to watch this movie. I really, really enjoyed this one. And I know that there's a remake. They came out with one in the, in the 2010s, I think. So I'm going to react to that one as well. Yeah, fantastic movie. This one was a lot of fun. And like, if it's an 80s movie with Kurt Russell, you know you're in for a good time. But this this particularly, this this hit all the right notes for me. And my God, those those creature effects were, were terrifying and, and just very impressive, honestly. That's something that I've grown to really appreciate about this time period, and especially with the genres of like horror and sci-fi, is the practical effects... And on like prosthetics, puppetry, stop motion. There's some great matte paintings in this too, especially of that crash site. This was a wild one. I really didn't know what to expect. Um, it took me, it threw me for a loop quite a few times. There was a little bit of violence towards animals in this, which I usually, am, I'm, I'm not a fan of that, all right? But I was able to get through it. They did a good job of, uh, of redeeming that with the fact that the, the animal was in fact a monster. <laughs> but the rest of those dogs also died and that's fucked up. I'm not okay with that. Um, but, you know, that's part of the horror of this whole nightmarish scenario. So I, I understand. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my first time reaction to the 1982 classic, The Thing. This was a great one. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this movie. Is this one of your favorites? And let me know what you think about the upcoming reaction to the remake. Um, remakes aren't always as good as the originals. And I don't really know anything about the public opinion surrounding the remake of The Thing. So let me know if, I'm, if that's a worthwhile endeavor for me, if you guys are interested in that reaction or not. Um, thank you so much for watching. This reaction was edited for compliance with fair use out of 10 minutes in length. If you want to check out the full-length uncut version of this reaction, it is available on Patreon. There's a link in the description of the video to the Patreon page. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!